Dr. Fung clearly had that visionary thinking. The books that he wrote and the research that he did was, um, you know, way before its time. The foundation of knowledge that underlies many, many of the new inventions. This research is the Virtual Haptic Back Project, and this is unique to Ohio University. It's a joint project between the Russ College of Engineering and Technology and Ohio University's College of Osteopathic Medicine. We are trying to better train osteopathic medical students in their sense of palpatory diagnosis, which means to find medical problems via touch. So what we have here is a virtual model, accurate virtual model of the human back. When I touch it, I can feel that via this haptic interface. So as the student presses harder, they'll feel more force back. And this involves soft tissue biomechanics. And Professor Fung is the pioneer in that area. I'm a physicist. And one of the ways that I feel I can contribute is to apply force to biological systems. And so there are several areas in which we work on that. One involves looking at the forces on white blood cells in capillaries, the smallest blood vessels. And that's work that I've done in collaboration with Dr. Goetz. We try to understand how leukocytes get trapped in the lungs when you have something, for example, like a systemic infection. And this could lead to organ failure and death. Now to understand this problem, we need to understand the mechanical properties of the leukocyte, the architecture of the lung, and then how blood flows through the lungs. You can gain insight to those three aspects of the problem by going back to YC Fung's pioneering work that he did in each of these areas. I like the warm hot pot. <laughs> Let me just first start with uh, 1962. That's when he was giving the lecture in Atlantic City. I went there with my wife and our two girls, and uh, we were at a restaurant. The four of us were eating, and Dr. Fung was with a group of uh, scientists. They were at uh, they were the council of the Microcirculatory Society. I came. Um over from Hong Kong to USSD in 1968 and majoring in bioengineering. And when Dr. Fong realized I was a foreign student, he was gracious enough to offer me a uh, job in the lab. I was just a neophyte, uh, a young assistant professor, and with my family sitting at another table. Dr. Fong saw me and uh, he came over, he left at the other table and sat with us for the dinner. So one day, uh, he asked me to solve a pretty complicated equation. So I worked hard, spent a lot of time, and went to the computer center and printed out the results. I was very embarrassed. I told Dr. Fong, you shouldn't leave your council, you know, group uh, where you had the dinner. No, he said, I, I enjoy had to be with uh, your family and children. And uh, it was just uh, totally uh, unbelievable. Dr. Fong took a quick glance at, at those uh, pages and looked at me and said, Peter, I think the answer is wrong. Okay. Now, to me, it's a brilliant man talking to me. I felt very, very uh, honored and happy, but I, at the same time very embarrassed that he would uh, spend the time with us and uh, cannot be with the rest of the uh, group. From that day, I was really impressed with Dr. Fong. Oh, people are gen generous. Uh, I can only be grateful. I read the stories about Fritz and Dolores Russ, and I think they did a fantastic contribution. The Russes have meant a great deal to the Russ College and, and Ohio University. They've endowed named professorships for our outstanding faculty. They have funded prizes so that we can recognize our faculty. They've provided scholarships. They have probably, best of all, provided advice to the leadership of the college for as long as the college has really been in existence as a separate entity. They were so accomplished and so bright. Fritz's uh, passion for engineering is best exemplified by the Russ Prize. Russ Prize is a unique his passion, I think, was to inspire more people to be interested in and to recognize engineers. And by having the Ross Prize, uh, I think the, the extending their influence. That's sort of the Fritz thing, is that prizes aren't intended to have an immediate effect. They're intended to have a long-term effect. So 
Fritz, when he did it, was probably thinking that 50 years from now, you'd start to see the effect. Benefiting bioengineering bio research. And that the people who were inspired by the prize would really get the prize 30, 40, 50 years down the road. I'm personally extremely grateful and I honor them very, very much.